we've been looking at functionals that involve two independent variables. So they result in partial differential equations for those multiple independent variables. And I want to take a look at a specific physical example known as minimal surfaces. We've seen some hints of this in chapter one. For example, the liquid drop problem. We minimize the total energy of the drop, and that was due to potential energy under the action of gravity, as well as the surface energy. Well, if you throw away the gravity and you just have the surface energy, you get these minimal surface problems, where you're minimizing the surface energy of, say, a soap film, for example. We'll look at a particular case of this in a later video, but I just want to give you kind of the background in it and look at this as an example of another case that results in PDEs. So the mathematics actually of minimal surfaces goes all the way back to Euler and Lagrange, who were the ones who formalized the calculus of variations back in the middle part of the 1700s. And it was Euler during that time who actually solved the soap film problem, which we'll address later in uh, the chapter. And the result is a catenoid. The catenoid is a revolved shape of a catenary that's revolved around an axis. Then it was later in the 1800s when the physicist Plateau made the connection between the physics and mathematics of these minimal surfaces uh, that I'm going to describe here. So we're neglecting gravity so that the only energy that we're concerned with is the surface energy of the film. And that's because it's so thin it doesn't have any mass. So the only energy that we're concerned with is the surface energy and that's directly proportional to the surface area of the film. So this is now known as Plateau's problem. It has a number of applications in areas such as structural design. You'll see some interesting structural shapes often made out of concrete in various buildings and structures. And you wonder where do they come from. They're often developed using minimal surface techniques. It comes up in molecular engineering, material science, as well as the physics of black holes. So this is a very important topic in a number of different areas of physics and engineering. So let's consider Plateau's problem. Let's take a, you can think of this as like a roller coaster. So this is a wire frame that goes up and down. So the height changes as you go around. And then you put a soap film stretched across that wire. And the question is, what is the shape of that soap film within that domain? So if you think of our three-step process, the first step is to get the functional, the second step is to get the Euler equation from the functional, and then the third step is to solve the Euler equation. I'm going to give you the functional that is to be minimized. It's the square root of 1 plus the square of partial u partial x plus the square of partial u partial y. And for that given functional, so that's step one, let's get the Euler equation. Well, the first thing to do is to look and see what are the ingredients. Does it fit a template for which we already know the form of the Euler equation? And you can see we have u sub x's and u sub y's. So that fits our template f of x, y, u, u, x, u, y. So here is that Euler equation. It's partial f, partial u. You'll notice there actually are no u's here, so that term is going to vanish. Minus partial partial x of partial f partial u sub x minus partial partial y of partial f partial u sub y is equal to 0. So if we evaluate these two, you'll notice I've color coded these. So the partial derivative of f with respect to u sub x, it's a bit messy because we have the square root of the sum of the squares, but this is what you get. Here it is in blue. So you differentiate the entire square root, so that's 1 over the square root, and then you differentiate the argument inside the square root, and so that's 2 times u sub x. Again, partial derivative with respect to u sub x. Then the same idea, but now u sub y, and you get this expression here. So if you take partial partial x of the blue, and partial partial y of the red. Have to do some product rules in there. But once you clean that up, you'll get this form right here. It's a rather complicated looking equation, but you get the quantity 1 plus the square of partial u partial y all times partial squared partial x squared. You get a similar term for partial squared u partial y squared. And then you get this mixed derivative term minus 2 partial u partial x partial u partial y partial squared u partial x partial y. So this is the minimal surface equation. U of x, y would be the shape of the soap film that spans between this wire frame, given the boundary conditions, which would be u as a function of x, y, all the way around the bounding curve c. Now, as I said, it is a rather messy equation. It's second order. The highest order derivatives are second order. It's nonlinear because I have these squares of partial derivatives and their times partial derivatives, so it's also nonlinear. 
And it's also actually equivalent to if you were to enforce that the mean curvature of the surface is zero. So once again, if you're given the shape C and the height of U, so the value of U on C all the way around, then you can solve this PDE to get the shape of the soap film that stretches between your wire frame. Now let's look at a special case where the value of G, which is that height along the bounding curve C, let's say that that varies very little. So that you can think of this as like a kitty roller coaster. So the ups and downs are very small in amplitude. So in that case, the derivatives of U with respect to X and Y will be very, very small. So the slopes are small because it's just a kitty roller coaster. In that case, you end up actually getting Laplace's equation. So this equation here, assuming that the first derivatives are very, very small, leads to Laplace's equation for that shape. So yet again, one more application that leads to the need to solve Laplace's equation in order to, in this case, get the shape of that soap film.